Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Litcode. In this video, we are going to see what are the new features available on the version 1.14 in Playwright. Okay, so Playwright is really awesome, and in this version, we got a lot of new features. So I'm going to just give you a walkthrough like what is new there, and probably from the upcoming videos, I will make a detailed tutorial on those. Okay, so first of all, we have two major updates: one in one in the Playwright library and another one in the Playwright test runner. The first one is the strict mode. Uh, for example, let's say that we are going to find an element called button within the page. Okay, and in the runtime, let's say, assume that we have multiple button buttons. So what happens till now by default is basically even though there are multiple buttons, uh, Playwright will always try to find the very first one, right? But just in case, assume that we have multiple buttons on the page and uh, we want to restrict that like if there are multiple locators not only buttons locators then probably we want to throw an error or we want to stop the execution then we can use this straight mode okay so it's a very simple concept uh, mostly like I don't think we are going to use this because playwright already have a lot of strategy to find an element uh, and basically we can find a unique one but still uh, in the runtime there might be possible that multiple elements of the locators comes in the page so in that scenario if you want to fail your test case probably you can go and use this straight okay and then we have new locator api i will make a de detailed tutorial on this in our upcoming videos uh, it is recommended to use the locators api uh, comparing to the element handle so we know that we always use like page dot dollar then followed by the locators the selectors right now instead of that we are going to say like page dot locator and within that we are going to pass our uh, locators or the selectors as a string. So uh, syntax is going to be very easy only but the differentiate like what is element handle and what is locator API I will cover in the upcoming video. Then we have the new react and the view js uh, selector strategy. So we can find the react and the view very easily with the help of playwright. Uh, I don't have any real-time application to show you the demo probably i will look for something and i will make a video on that okay next we have the nth uh, so nth is basically the same that we already know in the css selector right so if you want to find multiples and you want to uh, restrict to some position we can use the nth match right so nth is going to be very same but the added added advantage here is basically we can combine that with any of the playwright already select already uh, we have a lot of selector rights so with that we can do the combination so i will make a video on this as well and also the visible so if there is something visible then only we will do the interaction now coming back to the playwright test runner we have like lot of asset so here you can see like we have lot of asset like to be checked to be disabled already we have discussed like few of the asset uh, expect basically like the most commonly used so here we have like lot of things i will try to make a uh, video on most of the things okay and then we have the serial mode so this is like most of uh, you guys asked in the comments like how to fail a test so assume that we have a describe block within that we have multiple tests now we know that each and every test is going to run in the uh, its own browser context right that means new new tab is going to open or new browser is going to open but if one test is going to fail within the describe block then another test is going to continue its execution now when we use this describe dot serial that means it's going to run each and every test in a sequential and if there is any failure in one test then the correspondent the uh, next sequence of the test are going to be uh, skipped okay so that is the use of this describe dot serial if i have to compare this feature with just uh, probably we have already learned the bail right so bail bail which is used to fail the test if any of the one test is going to fail so similar is now available out of the box from playwright test runner then we have the test dot test dot step i was expecting this for a long uh, actually so we know that uh, whenever we write a test for like long scenarios like uh, if it's going to take much code then it will be look little uh, awkward and it will be not traceable as well right but with the help of test dot steps we can uh, have a like within the single test we can have like multiple blocks of test now uh, i will show you more in detail okay and of course we have the three browser versions one is the chrome m94 firefox 91 and webkit 1. Dot, i mean 15.0 okay so that's it for this video this is very like uh, what's new uh, i will cover all this in more in detail in our upcoming videos okay so that's it for my side thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon 
if you like the video consider giving a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel kindly do the subscribe and click on the bell notification thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon tada bye bye take care